this would be what is found in the Library of Congress. Here's your catalog card number. It is debated as to whether this is a crock of you know what, or whether it's actually real. But it is bizarre. So we'll go ahead and read through it. And what I showed you about the Black Pope, the Jesuit Order is otherwise known as Society of Jesus, military enforcement arm of the Catholic Church. It's founded by Ignatius of Loyola of Spain in 1534 during the reign of Pope Paul III. A lot of things been said and written. Let's go down here. You can read a, I mean, this is a pretty long stuff. My son, here to you, have you been taught to act a dissembler among Roman Catholics to be a Roman Catholic? and to spy even among your own brethren, to believe no man, to trust no man among the reformers, to be a reformer among the Huguenots, to be Huguenot among the Calvinists, to be a Calvinist among the Protestants, generally to be a Protestant in obtaining their confidence to seek even to preach from their pulpits and denounce it with all the vehemence in your nature, our holy religion and the Pope. And to descend so low as to become a Jew among the Jews, that you might be enabled to gather together all information for your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope. You have been taught and insidiously planned for the seeds of jealousy and hatred between communities, provinces, and states that were at peace and incite them to deeds of blood, involving them in war with each other, and to create revolutions and civil wars in countries that were independent and prosperous, cultivating the arts of science and enjoying the blessings of peace to take sides with the combatants and to act secretly in concert with your brother Jesuit, you may be engaged on the other side, but openly opposed to that which you might be connected, only that the church might be gainer in the end, and the conditions fixed in the treaties for peace, and at the end justifies the means. You have been taught your duty as a spy, to gather all statistics, facts, and information in your power from every source, to ingratiate yourself into the confidence of the family circle of Protestants, and heretics of every class and character, as well as that of the merchant, the banker, the lawyer, among the schools and university, in parliaments and legislatures, and in judiciaries, council of state, and to be all things to all men, for the Pope's sake, whose servants we are unto death. You received all your instructions here for as a novice, a neophyte, and have served as coadjutor, confessor, and priest. If you've not been invested with all that is necessary to command in the army of Loyola and the service of the Pope, you must serve the proper time as the instrument and executioner, as directed by your superiors, for none can command here who has not consecrated his labors with the blood of the heretic, for without the shedding of blood no man can be saved. Therefore, to fit yourself for your work, make your own salvation sure, you will, in addition to your former Oath of obedience to your order in your allegiance to the Pope. Repeat after me. I, whatever name, now in the presence of Almighty God, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Blessed Michael the Archangel, the Blessed St. John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints and sacred hosts of heaven, and to you, my ghostly Father, the Superior General of the Society of Jesus, founded by St. Ignatius of Loyola and the Pontificate of Paul, the third and continue to the present 
do by the womb of the Virgin, the matrix of God and the rod of Jesus Christ, declare and swear that His Holiness the Pope is Christ, is a regent, and is true and only head of the Catholic or universal church throughout the earth, and that by virtue of the keys of binding and loosing given to His Holiness by my Savior Jesus Christ, he hath power to depose heretical kings, princes, states, commonwealths, governments, all being illegal without his sacred confirmation that they may be safely destroyed. Therefore, to the utmost of my power, I shall and will defend this doctrine and his holiness of right and custom against all usurpers of the heretical or pro Protestant authority and all adherents in regard that they may be usurped and heretical opposing the sacred mother church of Rome. I do now renounce and disown my allegiance as due to any heretic or king, prince, or state named Protestant or liberal, or obedience to any of their laws, magistrates, or officers. I do further declare that the doctrines of the churches of England and Scotland, of the Calvinists, Huguenots, and other names of the Protestants or liberals, to be damnable. And they themselves damned, and to be damned who will not forsake the same. I do further declare that I will help, assist, and advise all or any of His Holiness agents in any place wherever I shall be, in any other kingdom or territory I shall come to, and do my utmost to extirpate the heretical Protestants or liberals' doctrines and to destroy all their pretended powers, legal or otherwise. I do further promise and declare that notwithstanding I am dispensed with to assume my religion heretical for the propagation propagating of the Mother Church's interest to keep secret and private all her agents, counsels from time to time as they may entrust me, not to divulge directly or indirectly by word, writing, or circumstance, whatever, but to execute all that should be proposed, given in charge, and discovered unto me by you, my ghostly father, or any of the sacred covenant. I do further promise and declare that I will have no opinion, will of my own, or any mental reservation whatsoever, even as a corpse or cadaver, but will unhesitatingly obey each and every con command that I may receive from my superiors in, in the militant of the Pope and Jesus Christ. That I will go to any part of the world whithersoever I may be sent, without murmuring or repining, and will be submissive in all things commanded to me. I furthermore promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war secretly or openly against all heretics, presidents, and liberals, as I am directed to do, to extirpate and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth, and I will spare neither age nor sex or condition, and I will hang, burn, waste, spoil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics rip up the stomachs and wounds of their women and crush their infants' heads against the walls in order to annihilate forever their execrable race. That when the same cannot be done openly, I will secretly use the poison cup, the strangulating cord, the steel of the poignard, or the leaden bullet, regardless of the honor, rank, dignity, or authority of the person or persons, whatsoever may be their condition in life, either public or private, as I at any time may be directed to do so by the agent of the Pope, or superior of the Brotherhood of the Holy Faith of the Society of Jesus. In confirmation of which I hereby dedicate my life, soul, and all my corporeal powers with this dagger which I now receive, I will subscribe my name written in my own blood in testimony thereof. And should I prove false or weaken in my determination, may my brethren and fellow soldiers of the militia of the Pope cut off my hands and feet and my throat from ear to ear, my belly opened, and sulfur burned therein with all the punishment that can be inflicted upon me on earth, and my soul to be tortured by demons in an eternal hell forever. All of which, I, the name, do swear the blessed trinity and blessed sacrament which I am about to receive, to perform, on my part to receive, invoidably, inviolably, and do call all the heavenly, heavenly and glorious host of heaven to witness that my real intentions to keep this my oath. In testimony hereof, I take this most holy and blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, and 
witness the same further, with my name written with the point of this dagger, dipped in my own blood, and sealed in the face of this holy covenant. <clears throat> then you go through, and the superior tells him to rise. And he's going to instruct him in the catechism. And then you go down to a question and answer. Where do you come? From the bends of the Jordan, from Calvary, from the Holy Sepulchre, and lastly from Rome. Who do you serve? The Holy Father of Rome, the Pope, the Roman Catholic Church, universal throughout the world. Who commands you? The successor of St. Ignatius, of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus, or the soldiers of Christ, who received you, a venerable man with white hair, how, with a naked dagger, I kneeling on a cross beneath the banners of the Pope and our sacred order, did you take an oath? I did to destroy heretics and their governments and rulers and to spare neither age, sex, or condition to be a corpse without my opinion or will of my own, but to implicitly obey my superiors in all things without hesitation or murmuring. Do you do that? I will. How will you travel in the bark of Peter the fisherman? Whither do you travel to the four quarters of the globe? For what purpose? To obey the orders of my general and superiors and execute the will of the Pope and faithfully fulfill the conditions of my oath. Go thee, go ye then into all the world and take possessions of all lands in the name of the Pope. He who will not accept him as the vicar of Jesus and his vice region on earth, let him be accursed and exterminated. Well, that's quite a mouthful. So, I've been talking about and telling you there was something like this around. So, whether you want to believe it or not, whether it's real or not, it is there. So when you hear or heard somebody say it's in the Library of Congress and you didn't believe it, you can believe it because it is. Now, I didn't write down the catalog number and all that stuff when I found it the first time because I didn't video it. I was just seeing if it was really there. And it took me quite a while to figure out how to actually find it in there. So... That is actually why I'm using this here, because it was a lot easier for me to, it's already got the catalog card number and stuff on here. It was easier for me to, to get it off of here to show you, in case you want to look it up. <clears throat> now, unless they've changed the card number since then, which I don't think they will or have, it should still be the same. And it did read as such. And there are other... Uh, uh, there's some debunking stuff that I've read about this that, you know, just a load of crap. And that, you know, some some guy tried to say he'd done a lot of research on it. And you could put a lot of things into the Library of Congress, even meaningful crap things. But take it for what it is. So you got a 50-50 chance this is real. And if it's a 50 side that is real, then, hey... That's a pretty extreme oath then, huh? So I wanted to show you that there, there was something there. And it was quite descriptive and quite bizarre. So there you have it. The complete oath of extreme induction.